Hi guys, welcome to my series on Theano tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys about a very important concept in Theano, which is called shared variables. So let's start. Let's we first need to import Theano, and we need to import Theano tensor st. Then I will need to define a variable in Theano and which is a shared variable and I will give it a initial value of 0 then I will define an integer scalar value variable in Theano which I will use to make my function calls then we need to define two functions in Theano I will call this function accumulator and the second one decrementer And uh, apart from specifying the input and the outputs of this function, there is of another thing which we need to do uh, in this function call is to define an update operation. So this is a slightly new concept uh, which I haven't talked about uh, in my previous videos. So an update operation basically what it does, it basically works as a assignment operator. Uh, it will take the current value of the state variable and it will take the input value which you have passed in the function call. And it will update the value of your shared variable with uh, this increment operation. Let's define a different function uh, which is quite similar to the our function. And uh, all we'll, the only change we'll do is uh, rather than adding the two values, we'll subtract the two values. And let's call this accumulator function and uh, get the value of the state. So we can use a function called get value. And let's pass 100. So when we when we call with zero, as you can see, no update will happen because you are passing the input as zero. But when you call with hundred, what it will do? It will take the initial value of your state uh, state, and it will update to increment hundred to it. So the new value of the state will become hundred. And now if I call decrementer with let's say thirty, so and I print out my value of current value of my state, it should be seventy because uh, the, my state variable is shared between my accumulator and decrementer function so any change which I do in any of these function will be reflected in my state variable so that's the concept of uh, using shared variables so let's print it out so as you can see it's uh, 0 170 as we have expected so this was my tutorial on shared variable. I hope you guys have liked it. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more updates and uh, comment uh, if you guys have some other ideas you want to make me tutorial on. Uh, till that time, take care. Bye. -bye. <coughs>